at the call of the Central Committee of the CPIM, all over the country, there is a campaign being conducted on four major topics. First is that the party is campaigning against the one nation, one election scheme, which is being proposed by the Modi government. The cabinet has, union cabinet has accepted the recommendations of the Ramnath Kovind committee, which was set up to see how this one nation, one election proposal can be implemented. This proposal of having simultaneous elections of the Lok Sabha, all the state assemblies and even the local bodies and the panchayats together is a grave attack on the constitutional scheme of democracy that we have, of attack on federalism and states' rights. The reason is because, as we know, the constitution provides for a term of five years for state legislatures and for the Lok Sabha. By trying to make all the elections be held simultaneously, the term of some of the state legislatures will be reduced and ongoing proposals are there to have elections only if there is a midterm election, say after three years, then there will be election only for a remaining two-year term. That is the five-year principle it will be done away with. This is an attack on the very uh, right of a state legislature, which has a five-year term. So this will lead to centralization of all powers in the center and a unitary form of system, uh, state. This is why one nation, one election is being opposed by the CPIM and all the democratic opposition parties. Even the question of having panchayat elections together, what is the purpose of this? Why should panchayat elections in Kerala be held at the same time as, say, panchayat elections in Uttar Pradesh? The conditions are so diverse. Today, the local body panchayat elections are under the jurisdiction of the state government and the state election authority. Now they want to have one common electoral road from the Lok Sabha down to the panchayats. Here again, it's a question of centralizing the whole political system and going against the principle of decentralization, which is embodied in the local body institutions. So for all these reasons, the CPIM is going to the people to explain to them how one nation, one election is harmful for the, part, the country's democratic system and for federalism. The other issues which are being taken up in this campaign are, one, the rising attacks on women and children, the sexual attacks, the crimes against women and children, which have become alarming and rampant all over the country. Uh, we have seen how the gruesome rape and murder of a junior doctor in Kolkata has led to such massive public uh, grief and uh, opposite, uh, opposite protests. Similarly, there are a number of such incidents happening all over the country. So it is very necessary to mobilize public opinion to ensure that safety of women, security of women is ensured and strong steps are taken against anyone who commits such crimes against women and children and for that all the necessary legal and uh, administrative steps that need to be taken have to be uh, highlighted. And there is also in this campaign the issue of unemployment which has become chronic, which has become uh, the 
most serious problem for the people of the country, particularly the youth. Youth unemployment has reached record levels today. And the blight of unemployment is uh, affecting lakhs and lakhs of families. And the central government, apart from some uh, dubious schemes like employment-linked uh, schemes which they have brought in the budget, are not taking any steps to generate employment in order to meet the requirements of the new workforce which is entering the job market every year. So the steps to be taken to curb unemployment and the need to generate new jobs, that is an issue which is being highlighted. And finally, there is the question of rising prices and inflation, which is again uh, spoiling or harming the lives of large sections of the people. The rising price of food items in particular uh, shows no uh, respite. It is continuously rising and therefore the need to take steps to curb price rise. And in that, a major question is why is the government of India not reducing the retail price of diesel and petrol at a time when the international prices of crude oil have been going down. We have seen this year, in the first six months, the international prices of crude oil have come down by 18%. But the oil companies have not reduced the price of petrol and diesel. This has obviously been done at the instance of the government of India. So in order to curb price rise, the first step is to reduce the price of petrol and diesel. These are the issues which the party units all over the country are going to take to the people in the uh, period 15th October to 15th November. The campaign is going on and uh, we are sure that through this campaign we will be able to mobilize more and more people to tackle these problems of unemployment, of price rise, of crimes against women and finally ensure that the democratic and federal principle is safeguarded by not having the one nation, one election system.